This tutorial will discuss switch mapping on the AgWeeder Integra and Versa displays. Switch mapping assigns functions to the switches on the switch box console, remote master switch, or application foot pedal master switch. This will be configured automatically when the equipment configuration is made, but can be changed based on the operator's preference. To access switch mapping from the home screen, press the setup button, highlight the configuration, press the wrench, and press auxiliary input. The auxiliary input page will display all the switches and functions assigned to the left. The master source dropdown will control which master switch will be used for the configuration. When using the switch box master or remote master, leave this set to switch. When using the application foot pedal, master source will be set to external two. Assign sections to switches by pressing the Assign button. This screen shows all the switches and external inputs. Unassigned switches and external inputs are shown with a yellow X. Assign a switches function by selecting a switch from the top row and a function from the bottom menu. If you need help adjusting your preferences, press the question mark button for the icon key. Direct Command supports up to 10 boom sections and up to two additional fence row nozzles. Fence row nozzles may be set up in two ways, as boom sections or as fence row nozzles. Either way can be done based on operator's preference, although setting it up as boom sections assumes that there are two free sections available for the fence row nozzles. Assigning fence rows as boom sections will be done in the initial configuration. It will map when fence row nozzles are on and it will control the flow rate accordingly. It is recommended to set the first and last boom section widths for the fence row nozzles to the actual spray width for a correct change to flow control. Assign the fence row sections to any switch. Assigning fence row nozzles as fence rows in switch mapping the system will not control the flow rate and will not map fence row application. Assign the left and right fence row nozzle functionality to any switch. The boom section next to the fence row nozzle must be on for the fence row nozzle to apply properly. Lastly, navigate to the system button to verify switch operation in switch diagnostics. Highlight the auxiliary input module and press diagnostics. The Diagnostics page lists the active switches in three color boxes. Green indicates that the switches are connected to the input module and are in the on position. Black indicates that the switch is connected but is in the off position. Gray switches means that these switches are not connected to the auxiliary input module. Below the list of switches is the number of ground speed pulses coming in from the radar to the auxiliary input module. For more on switch operation, please refer to the display manual.